today I have got a small beauty haul for you guys. Mm, I say small, but you say, whoa. So, <laughs> so the reason I wanted to do this haul was primarily for the products that I'll show you in a minute. But um, I went to Priceline the other day and I was just wandering through, having a bit of a browse. And then these babies caught my eye and I was just like, holy moly, what is that? I need to have that. So first thing I saw was it was a matte lipstick now in Australia we don't have a lot of brands making matte lipsticks I can name maybe just a handful so um, apart from this um, I know Revlon does one Rimmel does one and Inoxa don't know of any others that I am aware of um, and now Savvy is finally doing one but when I was looking it did say limited edition which is really disappointing I hope that they come out with this in their permanent line but um, that's why I kind of wanted to get this video out for you guys um, so first of all it's a matte lipstick next the colors as you can see gorgeous bold colors here um, so you have a bit of a burgundy purpley color um, two reds, a more warm based red and a darker classic blue based red and then this gorgeous peachy coral colour that I have on my lips right now. So the colours like really stood out for me and then I swatched them which I'll do in a minute as well. And then lastly I looked at the price and I was like holy moly are you freaking kidding me. It was $6.99. $6.99 six peoples. What the hell? $6.99 for a matte lipstick. That is outrageous. So I snatched all four of these up. I think there's like around about nine or eight in the line. Um, these were the darker shades. Um, all of the other ones were lighter. It was like a really light nude color, a pearly pinky one, a bright pink one. So they did have a couple more, but they were all in the, like, in the lighter shades. So I didn't think it would suit me so um I initially was just gonna get one but then I was like heck seven dollars for just one even if I buy all four it won't be as expensive as like the higher end lipsticks so I bought four of them and these are amazing I absolutely love them I have a blog post on these already so please 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 check out my blog for still images swatches and just close-up photos of them um, yeah, if you weren't aware, I do have a blog and I'm trying my hardest, I'm trying my darndest to like get posts up on there as well as stay updated on YouTube because I do have more time and I did promise you guys that I will set aside more time for YouTube and blogging. So that's exciting. If you don't know that I have one, check it out and follow me and um, I, I plan on doing reviews and like outfits and stuff like that on there. So have big plans, big plans. Um, <laughs> For those who are already following me, I apologise. I've been the worst blogger in the world. Um, thank you for sticking, sticking, sticking with me through all of the lack of posts. So thank you, respect you for that. Um, but anyways, check out that blog post. I have heaps of swatches and lip swatches as well. I can just swatch them here for you now as well for you guys, just to show you a just a general overview of what they look like. Um, so yeah, like I said, the ones that the one I have on right now is this peachy coral, and I think it reminds me of Mac Vegas Vault. Um, this is what it looks like, and I'll just swatch that. So there's that one. They're all named after places, so the next one is like a blue based red and it's just a medium, it's not like too bright, it's not too dark, it's just smack bang in the middle and that's just that, kind of reminds me of Max Red, if you haven't seen that, but maybe less blue. The next one is Vegas, if you prefer warmer reds and warmer brighter reds this would work lovely for you, so that's that one there. This would look stunning on blondes. Um, it would look absolutely gorgeous on pale skin as well. And this one is just a burgundy purple. Kind of reminds me of Max Rebel. So that's what that one looks like. So these are amazing. They're only $7 each. Go to your nearest price line and check it out before they either go out of stock or, um, you know, they stop making them because they are limited edition. So... That's the first thing. Um, next, if you weren't aware, in my previous video I've already mentioned that Revlon came out with a new um, packaging for Revlon Colorstay, which is really exciting. Now, 
comes with a gorgeous looking pump like that um, and also I believe Jodie said that in her review she noticed that the formula has changed a little bit so the shade I picked is natural tan which is the darkest shade available here in Australia initially I thought I wouldn't be able to like you know I was kind of hesitant initially to get natural tan because it is a smidge lighter than the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in Golden Caramel. But um, when I went into Priceline, it was only $25. And I also noticed that the natural tan in the normal to dry skin formula is a lot darker than the natural tan in the oily to combination skin <laughs> formula. Oh my god. Um, so, so I'm just struggling with words today. Uh, so I swatched it on my skin because in Australia we have testers. And it didn't match me too bad in the store, so I was like, okay, I can get away with this. Because for $25, I thought if I was going to try this foundation, now would be the time. Because it's originally $39, and I am not paying that for a Revlon Color Stay foundation. I'm sorry, but that is expensive. <laughs> that is like, you know, if I went on Beauty Bay and bought, like, the Urban Decay foundation. and Just so expensive, man. Um, I normally buy online because the shade that I need it in the Color Stay foundation isn't in stores anyway. So for me, um, I prefer to just buy it online. And normally I pay $20 and you can buy it cheaper at Cosmetics Plus for those who didn't know for $20. So normally I pay $20, pay $25 for this, not a bad effort. And it comes with a pump and it's a new formula so I wanted to check it out to see. Come on, Dre! So I wanted to check it out to see if it's that much different. I've got it on my skin, on my face right now, so I think it's a pretty good match if, if you guys think so. So do you? No? So that's that. $25, originally $39. Go to Priceline and check it out before the sales end. Um, and next thing I bought was the Lee Stafford salt, Sea Salt Spray. Um, I just need a Sea Salt Spray to kind of just give me more volume in my hair and give like that bleachy wavy look especially like you know for second day third day hair when you just want like the tousled appearance to your hair I wanted to check that out see if it's any good and I thought I might as well also show you a couple of things that I bought online so um, I went on iHerb and if you're not aware of iherb.com, it's a website that sells real techniques, brushes, and um, physicians formula, just all vegan friendly products. Um, and they also have like herbal supplements and stuff like that. But um, I saw this brush because I was looking for like a small stippling brush that I could apply like liquid, um, what is it called, liquid blush and just liquid cheek products and stuff like that or cream products on my face with and I was looking at the e.l.f. small stippling brush but that was out of stock at Beauty Bay or Beauty Joint when I looked so I saw this and I thought hang on that actually looks more like the MAC 131 I think that's what it is I don't have that brush but I'm just saying it kind of looks like it and this one is the the Delium Face Powder 953 the Duo Fiber Foundation and it's a teeny tiny version of the 187 stippling brush it's so tiny and cute and it's super super soft and this was only like a couple of bucks I think like ten dollars I also have heard so many great things about the glycolic acids and everything like that in face creams and cleansers so I had a look and they actually had some glycolic acid containing products or skincare products so I bought this one from Reviva Labs um, it's the 10% glycolic acid cream and it's kind of like an, a chemical exfoliant if you don't know what that is this was a, I think like $15 it just comes in a tub like this um, on the website had a lot a lot a lot of great reviews so I I just thought you know why not instead of spending heaps and heaps of money I might just check it out see if I like it and then you know go crazy for the next one and I also got their glycolic acid facial toner I recommend that website because the shipping is amazing it came to me within the week and, and the cost of shipping is really, really inexpensive. It's like $4 if it's like under a certain weight and everything. And if you've never bought from them before, I have a code down below um, that gives you 
$10 off your first purchase if you purchase um, over $40 or something, which is awesome. So check that out. I also bought a couple of things from Beauty Bay and it's the Bare Minerals um, Ready Shadow Quads. I have this one in the Happy Place, which is gorgeous. I'll have a blog post on these soon, but this one's just got the warm um, shades just there. It's got a, a shimmery burgundy, a shimmery garnet colour, a satin... Um, pinky champagne color there and then also a matte ashy matte brown and I also bought the truth so this one is like one of their really popular quads and it's just got really nude colors there I've heard great great things about like the quality of these shadows from temptalia.com and um, just reviews on makeup alley so I'm pretty excited to see how these perform. I also bought a couple of Wet n Wild products from allcosmeticswholesale.com and um, they're really cheap on that website so I was like mm. but they don't have much so that's the only problem. I bought the liquid eyeliner in brown. I think this is like a dollar something. They're, all of these are really cheap. It was like less than two dollars or, or something like that. Maybe three. I don't know. And this one's their cream eyeliner. I've heard great things about that one. I brought this single shadow in Nutty. It was like a buck. Um, I bought this palette. I don't have this one so I thought I'd just go get it because it was really cheap. The, oh sorry, this one's in Greed. Um, you can't really go wrong with these palettes. The pigmentation on these are amazing. So I thought I'd just check it out because it was pretty cheap. And also the brow palette in Ash Brown. I'm addicted to these the brow palettes. They're just amazing. They're just great for everything. From All Cosmetics Wholesale, I also bought the Steeler Kajal Eyeliner in um, Tiger's Eye for like $5. It was on sale for. I have Topaz and I love it. It's so silky smooth. Um, and this one's gorgeous. It's just... It's so blendable and easy to use. It just doesn't tug. Glides on amazingly. Yeah, I love these Steeler um, liners. But the only thing is that they don't actually like stay put. They're not one of those long wearing eyeliners. They're just really like blendable eyeliners that you can smudge and stuff because it is Kajal. Kajal? Kajal. I don't even know. And the last couple of things I wanted to show you guys um, are just the new Chanel products that I've got. So I bought two Chanel foundations. What the hell is wrong with me? I don't need any more foundations. Please don't leave any hate down below. I really hate myself for buying all this. But I bought the Chanel foundation in Perfection Lumiere. I have it in shade 50 Beige. It's the same shade that I have in Vita Lumiere. Aqua Vita Lumiere, I think. And this is what it looks like. Um, I'll let you know how this one goes. I've used it a couple of times and I like it. I, I expected a bit more though. Like it's pretty similar to like all my other long wearing foundations. But it smells really good so that's good. And um, I also bought Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Compact Cream. I love cream foundations. And Lisa Eldridge has um, featured this in one of her videos. Is uh, something she uses to just bring around for touch ups because then she doesn't have to fuss around with bringing like a full bottle of foundation for reapplying which I thought was genius so I bought this and it looks super cute and the great thing about this is that it has like a, a lid so it won't dry out um, even if you use it constantly and also it's refillable so when you finish the foundation you can go ahead and just buy the refill and you won't have to pay the full price again and refills are obviously cheaper so that's pretty cool the shade that I had it in is also 50 beige okay and that's it. Oh, one more thing. I also bought one last powder foundation. <gasps> the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder in Pure Honey. Now, with this, when I first opened it, because I bought it online so I didn't really know which colour it was, but Pure Honey worked for a lot of people with my skin tone, so I thought it'd be the best one to go with. And this is the darkest shade that they have. Now, when you swatch it, it has this really ashy undertone to it. It's like grey, really grey. Um, I don't know it's, if it's just because I'm really yellow or whatever it is but when you swatch it quite heavily it's really grey but it does have like that silky glow to it like it's not sparkly like the photo ready or anything like that but it's just it's glowy like you can tell that if you put this on it won't look matte it'll just look like skin so I was excited about that and when I tried it on with a brush 
it didn't look as ashy so I think with this you really have to just build it up by just doing light layers rather than just packing it on really thick because then otherwise it just goes a funny colour. So that's the only thing with mineral foundations I never really understood and I also noticed that when I topped a foundation off with this it darkened the colour. Weird, that is so bizarre but yeah. That's just what I've found. Um, let me know if you want to review or whatever on any of these products. If you guys are interested in any of the products, just let me know and I'll do a blog post on it and let you know my thoughts. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys found this helpful. My head actually hurts from like listening to myself talk. Um, yeah, hope you guys found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!